what's up guys thanks for tuning in you're watching me fishing fl's channel today's topic is going to be on the subject of pitching um obviously you know something about pitching already because this is going to be advanced pitching this is basically me breaking down pitching and going a little more in depth with it so stay tuned and we hope you enjoy this video okay guys so first things first with pitching is your lure has to be almost horizontal to your reel right here and um, you already know the basic pitch is where you kind of swing it out just to get to a target well I'm gonna show you that you need to get a smoother pitch and it needs to be close to the water what I want your pitch to be like is to actually skim the water at at least an inch or two off the bottom if not even skipping it across the water that'll happen sometimes and um, here's an example of that just a smooth low pitch out across the water second thing you want to know is when your bait enters the water you want it to be calm just like you just dropped it right there or something but you don't want the bait coming in this way right here that I'm showing you you want that bait coming in head first weight first because that's a more natural presentation of the bait and to do that you just simply right before the baits about to hit the water stop it with your thumb and that'll cause a chain reaction and it'll send like a almost a shock down your line and it'll hit the bait and make it go in just like that and that's a more natural presentation all right up next we're going to be showing you the rod movement and how it can help you with your pitching all right, so this is basically your rod movement that you should have when you're pitching a lure out there. I see most pros pitch their lure out or something like that, and it won't fully bring their tip up and they'll wait for their line to come back out of their reel until it hits the bottom. And that's not really a good thing, because while that bait's falling to the bottom, a fish can take it as a reaction strike and instantly start running with your line. So what I do is when I pitch out, while the bait's going out, I bring my rod tip up pretty much almost 90 degree angle. So that means I can get my bait out there, and as soon as it hits the water, my rod is 90 degrees up in the air, I can lock my reel into place, lower my rod tip, and while my rod tip lowers, create slack line, and that just carries my bait down. So here's an example of what I do. Another key feature when you're pitching is speed. If you see a tournament pitcher, you know they have to get as many pitches or flips as they can in a day. So you can't always constantly be pitching out there, reeling it back in, and grabbing your bait and throwing it back out there again. So what you see a lot of pros do is they pitch it out there and get an initial idea of where they want their bait to go. When they reel it in, they swing it back and just carry it back out there like a pitch without grabbing it basically um, when you're hitting structure you want to pay attention to really good detail like I'm, if I'm fishing a brush pile or something I want to want to fish with my dominant hand I want to pitch it out there so I can get as accurate and as smooth as I can but if I'm fishing you know a dock piling or something I'm just trying to hit a general area, say like a one foot radius, I'll pull up and I'll pitch it out there with my left hand just to get that speed, just for more pitches out to that dock finally. So that's another good tip. And one more thing is when I'm pitching out and if I miss an area, because oftentimes you'll mean to hit one place and you'll accidentally go another place. So say I want to hit somewhere more to my right, but I accidentally go more middle. What I'll do is in the air, you have to have fast reactions for this. I'll, in the air, I'll pull it back and I'll flip it out to the original place that I meant to hit. And that's a good thing to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on advanced pitching. And stay tuned and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.